Uh, yeah, uh Bitch, I've been the man, the man since 89 Came about my mama with goals, I had to grind That was mind over matter, pay niggas, no, never mind Back on my bullshit, Michael Jordan in 45 I got what you need, you need, just get in line One time got caught slipping, got caught up by one time Had my face all in the paper, but tears in my mama eyes We was on the block, boy, no JB, we looked alive Shoot the dice on the F, I lost it, then made it back Bet it up, double that, head crack, head crack Get the cash, get the ass, Steve Nash with the pass Got the drive, no crash, only do beef with the mash Plies voice, you big mad, I be dolo but the game's with me Never stopping if the tank was empty Till we touring out in every city Me and Grease on every titty yeah. What's good everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here Back with our Ole Miss Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10 And last episode, not sure if it's uh, you know a couple hours before this one Or another day from now, but last episode we did win you know what I mean? The uh, the NCAA tournament, you know, we were a one seed, so we were a favorite to, to, you know, win this tournament. We beat the other number one seed, Arizona, the number one the number one overall seed, you know what I'm saying? That was just huge for us. Ready to move on to the end of the season, into the offseason and everything like that. What a, what a Cinderella story, man. Like, last year we barely made it to the tournament and everything like that, but, uh, you know, continuing, we'll get rid of all the box scores and everything. And um, your school wishes to extend your contract for five years. Let's go ahead and do it, man. The whole point of this is a rebuild to make Ole Miss into a dynasty. We got the first national championship out of the way in year um, in year two. You know what I'm saying? Getting the job done. Go ahead and move on to the offseason. First things first, let's go ahead and go over our verbal agreements. Remember, we're bringing in a five-star uh, shooting guard, 6'4", Theo Carson, this is the person I'm really, really hoping can, you know, uh, take over the spot from Markel Crawford and do big things. He probably, he's going to start year one. You know, it's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, so we're going to go ahead and sign him. Next up, another shooting guard, Ty Dickerson, 6'2", four-star out of Louisiana. ESPN 100, he's an All-American and everything like that. And what I forgot to mention about Theo Carson, he's a number three in his position, number 10 overall, McDonald's All-American, player of the year in his in his. Uh, you know what I mean? In his state. I mean, he's a pipeline player. ESPN 100, All-American in Mr. Basketball of Alabama. You know, Theo and Ty Dickerson, we're going to go ahead and bring him in. And then last but not least, 6-1 uh, point guard Michael Wade out of Galesburg, Illinois. He's an All-American. 119th overall. You know what I'm saying? We got him to come to the program. And while we're here, remember, guys, you guys will all have a chance to become members of this basketball team. You see these three guys right here, Theo Carson, Ty Dickerson, and Michael Wade. This will not be their names come the first game of the season. You guys will have a chance to replace them. All you got to do down below in the comment section, leave me your first name, your last name, desired jersey number, your skin tone being light, medium, dark, you know, white, you know, tanner skin, and then dark skin. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying, we'll go ahead and uh, randomly select a comment, and you guys will go ahead and... And replace these dudes and you will be able to see your name on, you know what I mean, the back of these jerseys on the floor just like Edmonds and Reese Jackson did this season. So these are the three guys we got coming in early. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to see who we're losing. All right, guys. So here we are in uh, players leaving. So surprisingly, after his junior season in the national championship, Brienne Taylor is choosing, is opting to transfer from the program. Okay, didn't really see that coming. Justice Fermanovich is graduating. Devontae Schuler is graduating. Markel Crawford is graduating. Um, I'm, I'm going to look around some of these schools. So, yeah, it would say he was going pro if he was going pro. Because you, you see her, Trey Young and Kadeem Layton are going pro. So, the person who just led and willed his team to the national title, average 41 in the tournament, is not going pro. He's just graduating. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We've been snubbed in worse ways before. He'll get picked up by somebody. There's no way somebody's not letting, you know what I mean, not letting this dude be on an a, a NBA love roster come next fall. So these three dudes, man, they all played key parts. You know, all, all four of these dudes played key parts on the squad. 
Brian Taylor was supposed to be the starting point guard for the last two years, but we chose to go with Devontae Shuler. We moved him to the one, even though that wasn't his primary position, so we can get him and Crawford the best players on the field, I mean, on the court as possible. Justice Fermanovich started year one, and he came off the bench and did his job beautifully. I wish Brian Taylor, you know, major success down the road. Actually, we can talk him into staying. Uh, we don't have many points to try to talk him into staying. He's already leaning towards leaving. You know, we're going to try for the hell of it anyway. Sorry, Coach, I've decided to transfer. All right, man, wish you the best of luck on your endeavors. All right, guys, so here we are in offseason recruiting since we lost. You know, we're bringing in three, and we lost a total of four players. We have 510 points remaining to try to get some, some guys to come to the squad. Some guys should be, I was about to say, we should have some players ready to try to come play for, you know, uh, the, the, the reigning national champion. So we got 6'9", Jason Ali, power four, inter interested in coming to the program. And then we got Brian Garrison, a three-star. Um, We got enough shooting guards. Are there any threes that want to come here? Let's see. Six, seven, Leon Davis. So we're, what we're going to do, we're definitely going to recruit Ali here hard. Let's see. We have one scholarship remaining. And we're fourth on his list. Damn. It's going to be tough. But we're going we're gonna to recruit him hard. Go ahead and watch one of his games. We can't pitch to him anything yet, but we can send him packages and everything. Emails. We're going to go ahead and go after him because we're trying to bring one of these dudes. I mean, they're interested in us, but I'm not sure how far along they are signing with these other squads. So, you know, we definitely need to do our due diligence. Brian Garrison is a power forward from uh, West Virginia. We'll go ahead and send him everything we need to send him. Let's see. We already brought in a point guard, we, even though we lost another. Hmm. This is a Juco Jr. Grant Ivy. He probably could play immediately. Where's that small forward? Leon Davis, 6'7". We're not even on his board, so we're not even going to go after him. Uh, we're second on Adam Snell. So Adam Snell is really heavily interested in coming to us over Washington, maybe. You know, now, now that we the one the Natty and everything like that. We'll go ahead and send him some stuff, see what he wants to do. And then last but not least, we need somebody with some like some height, some size. Grant Ivy could possibly be nasty. For real, for real. But I don't want to stunt the growth of anybody else. But players need to be, you know, when they come to squads like this, they need to be ready to possibly sit the bench. We're fourth on his on his uh board. Let's see where we are with the Juco dude. From Canada, we're third. Now we're gonna rock, we're gonna rock out with these three right here. Because we got two shooting guards coming in, so we'll do we'll go after two point guards. I mean two power forwards and uh and then the one point guard, another point guard. All right, so you see here, out of all the people that we uh, went after, Jason Ali actually ends up signing with UTEP. So, you know, we definitely went hard after him. Then Brian Garrison, let's see, did we move up on his list? We did not. And then we only got the one scholarship anyway, so I'm probably going to go hard after Adam Snell. I'm not even going to lie. You know what I'm saying? So we'll go ahead and move on to the next day, see if we can bring one of these dudes in. If neither one of them sign, I mean... If, ideally, if neither one of them signed, that'd be good. All right, so we lost one. So we're actually the highest on Brian Garrison, the 6'8 power four. We moved up to two on his list. And then Adam Snell, we're right behind South Dakota State out of Queens, New York. He might be one of the best jumpers we've seen in this class. Ability to clean up defensive glasses, average at best. Don't be surprised if he declares for the draft. That's cool with me if he, if he tries to be one and done. I don't mind recruiting that. So this dude, Brian Garrison, let's see. The plus, he's very impressed with his ability to score the ball inside. He's average at best off as a rebounder. Will likely leave after one year. All right, so let's see if there's anybody else that's extremely interested in us that really wants to come here. We're at Ivy, the Juco dude. We've dropped on his list because we didn't recruit him. This four-star, six-eight dude. Burt Bauman, Bowman, excuse me, said his name wrong, out of Brooklyn, New York. Let's go ahead and recruit him a little bit, see if we can get off of him, see if we can get him to possibly want to come to the squad and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and go to our targets now. We're going to go hard after Garrison. I'm not sure I would not necessarily want to want to offer him yet. We'll send a coach his way. We'll talk about team prestige. We just want a title. And then we'll call him. We'll talk about... Let's see. Playing time, maybe? I just don't want to commit yet and make the wrong decision. This dude, if he picks South Dakota State over us, you know, they deserve him. 
<laughs> I don't mean to sound cocky, but you know what I mean? Right here, we'll go over Coach Prestige. We already know what the coach just did. But I also don't want to lose anybody that... We'll go one more week. I don't know how thirsty these... I don't know how thirsty these dudes are to sign right now. Go ahead and recruit them one more week and move on. All right, so Bowman actually goes ahead and signs with Bama. So it looks like Brian Garrison and uh, Adam Snell are who's look who we're looking to get. Look at our position breakdown here. We got three centers. We have one power forward or well, two power forwards. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, oh, we have five centers. Excuse me, two power forwards. Two point guards, two shooting guards, three small forwards. So we're really in our our power forwards are a sophomore and a, and a senior. But we could easily move Reese Jackson or uh, Corey Edmonds to power forward if need be for the upcoming season. Hmm. 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 I'm going to go with the guard because we didn't have a lot of guards to come off the bench last year. And plus, he's the higher star anyway. Ninth is position. Only 6'8 power forward. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go all in with Adam Snell. Go ahead and offer him. Let the head coach talk to him and everything like that. Coach strategy. Team prestige. We're going to go ahead and go all in. Coach prestige. What else we need to talk to you about? Where is he from? Queens, New York. We don't need to talk to him about location. And we'll just do team prestige again. Let's see if we got any more uh, details on him. What matters most to Adam is program prestige. I probably should have read that first, but I think we pitched it to him twice. Our coach's prestige didn't seem to interest him. All right, let's go. Moving on to week, see if we can bring in this recruit over South Dakota State. I don't think we should be having a hard time getting him over South Dakota State. All right, so we do go ahead and sign Adam Snell to the squad. Sorry for Brian Garrison. Hopefully he has fun at Lafayette or wherever he chooses to go. I really wanted to get this number one, you know, play, player in the nation who was uncommitted. But you know what I'm saying? We get we got we got a lot of bigs in the program. So let's go ahead and move on from here and go to see who we need to redshirt or cut for the upcoming season. All right, guys. So this is the uh, prospective starting lineup next season. It might some things might change here, you know, don't be alarmed. But it's Ali, Hyman, Terrence Davis. So these three dudes are gonna be our, our upperclassmen coming back. And then we got freshman Theo Carson and then freshman Adam Snell that are gonna be coming and starting immediately. So remember, guys, you can replace Theo Carson, Adam Snell, Ty Dickerson, and Michael Wade. So already these all all four of these freshmen we brought in are better than Edmonds and Jackson, who were only like three stars. And we also have redshirt freshman Nathan Ross coming back, you know, coming up from his redshirt season. Moving down here to these looks what looks like walk-ons. We're gonna go ahead and get some of these dudes out of the way. Go ahead and get them off the off the squad. We really don't need 49s on the squad. Emil Mead. Oh, not really sure. I mean, you're on scholarship, I guess what that means. Oh, I'm really not sure what we should do. I guess we'll roll with 13 deep. Some people know they're not gonna play. So yes, yeah, Ali Hyman, Davis, Carson, and Snell perspective who we gonna have start Carson looks like you know what I mean he's a he's a he's a marksman from three he can get to the rack a little bit he plays great defense so he's probably really really gonna take over from Markel Crawford in a huge way we definitely need him to hit shots you know Ali and Hyman we expect big things for you Hyman you're finally back in the starting lineup and then solid having Edmonds and Reese Jackson off the bench but I think I might put Edmonds back in the starting lineup I don't know you guys let me know what you think all right guys so it's funny, even after we won the national title, we still end the season the number two team in the nation. It is what it is. Getting ready to start a new year, man. This year was definitely fun. You know, the, the fun has really just begun. The dynasty is here. All right, so getting ready for uh, this next season here in the preseason. Congratulations, your team has been invited to the uh, EA Maui Invitational Tournament. This tournament will take place uh, November 21st. In La Haina, Hawaii, it will be honored. Yes, of course, we accept the invitation. ESPN season preview. Our recruits for C plus. Our team is a B overall. A minus starter. C minus bench. Uh, coaches A plus. It says here the starting five can match up with anyone in the country. You already be you better believe it. You know what I mean? We, we're not really worried about. It. We weren't really projected to finish that high this year coming in either. And uh, team overview. We need a power four. I could have brought one in, but we got four available scholarships. Two hundred twenty-two points. We already know our pipeline states. Team overalls A minus, starters A, def rating B, 
Offense and defense, both A minus. Media poll preseason. We're coming in two. Conference prediction is 10th. Come on, baby. Y'all disrespectful. But we're coming in. So that was what I was looking at. We're preseason number two after Arizona. So we don't really got much to prove. You guys already know the roster right here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure out what's what and who's going to play where. It looks like we actually picked up two more red shirts that are actually worse than the 49s that we got rid of. So I guess we'll just leave them on the squad. Customizable schedule. I don't think we have to customize it. You know what I'm saying? We already got to where we wanted to be. That's being ranked and getting the opportunity to play in the tournament. We actually, you know, we're coming off a six-game win streak, <laughs> you know, in the tournament. And we got a rematch against Arizona coming up. They're number one. We're number two. We also play number nine, Louisville. Number 16, Purdue. We play Seton Hall. Shout out to them. Number eight, Bama. They're, these are our conference games. So we got us, Bama, Kentucky, Mississippi State. We're all ranked in the top ten. You know what I'm saying? Here from the SEC. Preseason training, we're going to focus heavily on shooting because that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the backcourt, shooting heavy. Offense, you know what I mean? 70-30. Conditioning y'all guards. Y'all better be in shape. Now, for our bigs, we're going to focus on our defense and our conditioning. Need y'all to be in shape. I need y'all to be able to play this fast-paced basketball that we play. And player focus... We're going to do 70 starters. No, 75 starters. We'll do 25 reserve. No, we'll do 70-30. We'll do a full 70-30, and we'll accept that, and that should work. And then Recruiting Central, let's go ahead and take a look at our recruiting challenge, what they want us to do. So they want us to sign a five-star recruit, five-star power four to be exact. A person with a B outside game, B rebounding game, good potential in a, um, a state Mr. Basketball. All right. Maybe we should be able to we should be able to knock some of these out. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and go to our database here. Go to the go to the positions. I didn't mean to yawn in y'all face. I apologize. So hi. We got some four star power forwards that want to come to the squad. Lucas Shank and Bryce and Bryce Austin. Go ahead and add him to there. We'll go ahead and add our Tyson Darnell. Maybe we get you know one of these dudes to to come in here. We just have to sweat them heavy to get them to come into the to the squad. Look at the position breakdown. Who do we have? Our one need is power forward, so we really don't need to focus on any other position. So, uh, all right. We'll also just look for best available that's that's interested in us. Vito Barton, power forward. All right, that's pro. And then we also got Kevin Vasher, 5'10 point guard. We're not we're not recruiting any one stars. No disrespect to y'all, but we don't need y'all. We don't need y'all. All right, so we're ready to get ready to gear up for yet another season. Welcome to the start of the NCAA season. All teams and players are now participating in training camp. We're going to go ahead and knock this training camp out and get ready for the season. Usually we'll have a bunch of games here early starting off. All right, so you see here we're starting off early against, I don't even know who that is, STU. Let's look at the schedule. Who's STU? Let's go ahead and go to SEC games. So we're going to oh Texas Southern. So TSU, I'm all wrong. We got quite a few games here early, and we actually play number one Arizona right before the Maui Invitational. But don't you guys worry, we will not, you know what I'm saying, be starting any of these games until we have you all these recruits replaced with the guys that we need to come in here. Taking a look at the preseason top 25, Arizona, us, Kentucky, Kansas, Texas A&M, Minnesota, who we beat in the Final Four. I mean, this uh, Elite Eight. No, Final Four, I was right. Mississippi State, Bama, Louisville, Iowa, Providence, Georgia Tech, Clemson, Marquette. St. John's, Purdue, Cincinnati, Arkansas, Notre Dame, UTEP, the U, Gonzaga, Villanova, Georgia, and Maryland. You see here they're calling Ira Lee Mr. Clutch. Leads a great team into this, to this year's season. He wasn't too clutch when we played him last year. You know what I'm saying? But that's going to do it, man, for the, for the offseason slash preseason. Markel Crawford was snubbed. He should be going to play pro ball somewhere. Trust me, he's one of the best players in the nation. There's nothing more you can ask for, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys are ready to kick off yet another season of this great series that you guys seem to love so much. I'm having a lot of fun with it, too. Let's see if we can make Ole Miss one of the next great basketball powerhouses slash dynasties. So, I'm out of here. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject. RK Games. So, I'm out of here. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject. Stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.